streets, you got caught up, you got all your shit situated, like everything is straight ahead. Oh, you know about that situation? Yeah, I mean, remember we interviewed you last time when you yeah, saw yeah, that? Yeah. I mean, sh I was facing 90 years of something I did when I was 16. Tell everybody, yeah, I was if, they, if they don't know, tell everybody what the situation was. I mean, shit, I, uh, I was 14. I, I'm, I'm just going to catch you up to, to what the situation was. I was 14. I got shot. They killed my brother. Shot him. Came home after two years. Came home at 16. When I came home, I went to Baltimore. Because that's where I was born at. But I wasn't raised there. Came home. Said, fuck everything in New Orleans. Ain't nobody see me no commissary. Ain't nobody do nothing for me. So I left with a Greyhound. I went to Baltimore. Thinking, you know, my mom used to send me all these letters and do all this. And, you know, they couldn't wait till I come home. As soon as I come home, she's like, you gotta get the job. Or you don't get no job, get the fuck out my house. So I'm like, fuck it. So I leave my mama's house and I'm on my own now. All over again. This time, in Baltimore, you know, they liked the way I was talking. The cash money was hot at that time. So everybody wanted to be like, I mean, how it is, you know, everybody liked me. And I really got down, you know what I mean? Like, you no making a bad nothing. I really got down in the streets as a young I got down. Just to try to, just to try to impress niggas who I thought that was feeling the same way about me. I ended up going on, a, you know, a couple of things. There ain't really nothing important to talk about. End up, you know, get locked up, come home, and, and, and I ain't go face it. So I kept it so in my career. As soon as, I'm, as soon as I get on, I'm like, fuck that shit. I ain't gonna face that shit. Yeah. Yeah. I said, I'm gonna go pursue my career. And that's what I did. I took the rap shit serious. Knowing I had a skeleton in my closet. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, fuck that shit. I'm going for the right thing. And it ended up working for me. The audition ended up happening. I, I, I promise you, I ain't do all that waiting in line. I went straight in the motherfucker like, Shh. Mind you, I was 17 this time. Yeah, I was standing on the leg. Um, got in the line like, nah. Got in front of it like, Psh. they looked straight at me and was like, rap. Start rapping. Made the band ever since. Wasn't no extra nigga. Every time I rapped, I made it straight up. And that's how it happened. Making the band was over with. Shit, I'm, I'm in the A. I'm in the Magic City. Nigga Dylan, I got hella paid. Shit, do you think I ain't gonna see no bitches? I know I'm famous, you know what I mean? Shit, I'm figuring dealing in the eight. Just one of those times. I mean, I've been poured over in Miami. I'd have been poured over everywhere. And nobody fuck with me. Police ain't fuck with me. Hey, uh, all right, cool. Let me ride. This fucking Gwinnett County in Georgia. That's why I don't live in Gwinnett County no more. <laughs> Pig motherfuckers. Fucking with a nigga like me, man. I'm trying to live. I'm doing positive. As soon as a nigga doing something positive. As soon as I start doing something positive. Nigga just had to pull me over one night. Pulled me over, told me how I was standing one. And I had to deal with that issue. And I ain't know it was that really that serious. You know what I mean? I'm thinking, man, that shit so many years ago, like 21, 22. So I'm like, you hear me? He thinking it's that serious. He like, nah. I was like, man, that happened when I was 16. He said, yeah, but they charge you as an adult. So I'm still facing that shit as an adult. No matter if I was 16 or whatever I was. So, you know, I had to, you know, basically pay to get my get my freedom. That's what the time when they really wasn't wrapping up, locking up rappers like that. Yeah, it was really like letting niggas, you yeah. know, you pay to play type shit. You still could, but they trying to make examples out of niggas now. You know what I mean? So, I handled that situation. You know what I mean? It's a blessing, bro. I'm just trying my best to stay out of trouble, my nigga. I ain't trying to prove nothing to nobody. I lived it so much that I ain't, I ain't proving shit to nobody, bro. I am who I am. You know what I'm saying? I, I am who I am. I did it all. You don't believe it? Come see about it. You gonna get what you asked for now. A lot of niggas don't understand, but I didn't understand at the time back then. When you living in the hood, you know what I mean? That small shit is big to me. I'm surpassed that shit. That shit is small to me. And a lot of niggas, that's why I got my niggas from out the hood. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Man, that shit ain't worth it. Niggas be thinking that shit, is, that shit ain't worth it. But how could you tell a nigga it ain't worth it when he ain't got nothing else to look forward to? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit real out here, man. It's really real. And I, I'm, I'm just grateful and I thank God every day that he giving me another chance for me to pursue something that I really love. You know what I mean? I live, I live for it, bro. You, you name it. I done did it. 
You want to show these niggas what's up? Yeah, so at the end of the day, I, I, I really feel like I got something to prove even though I don't. And what I got to prove is I'm a fucking fat man. What you did, I done done. What you saying, I already did. And you ain't saying nothing special. You know what I'm saying? Ain't you? I don't give a fuck who you are. You ain't saying nothing special to me. Because I done did it all. You know what I mean? And I want, it, I want my story told. Straight up. And that's all I want to do is give my side of the story. So when you see me, you can understand me a little better. I'm not a nigga to bad nigga, man. Trust me. Yeah, we're dropping the album in April. April 15th. Risky Business. As you can tell, you see why I name it Risky Business. That's how I feel like I'm living. Even though this is a business, you know what I'm saying? But in, in the rap game, man, it's shit like the trap game. You, you can get killed fast. And anything can happen to you. It's risky, man. Huh? Yeah, anything can happen to you, so you gotta, you gotta live everything. Yeah, you gotta live everything like it's your last. Because all my, all my brothers did. Every last one of them did. I buried my little brother last year, 2009. My youngest brother did. I ain't playing with nobody. So look at me. Don't play with me, bro. Let me do me. Because if you wake me out my dream, you gonna have a nightmare. I'm me. I'm used to it. Let me get this money. That's all I want anyway. I just want to take care of my family. Figure deal. Fuck with the flyest, baddest things on the planet. You feel me? I just wanna, I just wanna figure deal, man. Feel? I just wanna figure deal, baby. Live good, eat good, sit back. Like I wanna get fat one day and just smoke a fat ass cigar and just be like, go ahead, play in the sand. Play in the sand, kids. Yeah, yeah, but if I if I think like that though, then it might it, it might happen too late. You know what I mean? I see you moving with yeah. that time. Yeah, I gotta move fast though. Even, you know, I'm patient but impatient in the process. Man, you know what I mean? Fuck, man, I need it. You know? so, if I don't get it, somebody else get it. Better me than him. MOE Entertainment. MOE Entertainment, man. The real, the real power moves, though. Niggas, this shit fucked me up, though. Like, shout out to the A-Town, too, and shout out to the real niggas in A. This shit fucked me up, man. Niggas be through gays and flagging, man. Straight up. Niggas be through gays and flagging, man. Niggas be through gays with it, man. I be seeing niggas in the clubs, man, they don't even be knowing the figure dealers, you know what I'm saying? They don't even know how to, you know what I mean? But they, they flagging everywhere. That shit made me laugh, man. Stop. False flagging, my nigga. Because I live in LA too, man. Them niggas don't like that, my nigga. Straight up. My nigga from Inglewood, he'll tell you. Niggas definitely don't like that shit. Don't like that. Niggas slipping too. Y'all know what time it is. Yeah. Woo! We talking about noodles, nigga. Noodles. Yeah. Niggas. Niggas be doing the most, man. I ain't no here. You know what I mean? But I'm a real pyro, though. You understand? Straight up. Believe that. Niggas be false flagging, my nigga. Straight up. And I don't like that shit. How is think that's so crazy right now? Though. How is every? All right, this is what's crazy. How everybody in the South bloods? Everybody in the South. Nobody want to be no cribs. Niggas will see nigga, niggas see Lil Wayne and get lip rings and shit, right. tight pants and shit. You must not be packing wow. with your tight ass jeans. You can't be packing no meat. They gonna pack a hell of meat, man. I gotta sag these true religions. <laughs> you feel me? I gotta sag these. You heard me? Yeah. <laughs> I can't be wearing that tight shit, man. Like Think too long, man. That's why I fuck with you. I ain't never seen you on no trend shit. Yeah. Like, you know, I don't, just always did Cause you. I, I know what's up. Yeah. These niggas get, they get caught up in the hype. That's all it is. Yeah. Niggas, niggas go off what they see and try to do what they see. You see Wayne and all that, but really, Wayne ain't from the streets, man. Yeah, I said it. I'm from New Orleans, the streets, the third wall. Yeah, I ain't never seen him around the hood. Yeah, 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 yeah. He lived there when he was a young boy, but come on, man. Come on, man. Don't let that man fool you, man. Don't let that man get you mollywopped out here.